Take a look at your screen now. A large police presence in the western suburbs. They were led on a high speed chase after two men were beaten in Chicago. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza live at Chicago Police Headquarters. Sabrina, they caught one man, but he's not the only one they're looking for. That's right. Police say they might be looking for up to three more people, and CPD is taking over the investigation from here. An investigation that started where the original crime scene was in Englewood. That arrest you just mentioned happened all the way in Berkeley. It ended like this. The suspect speeding away from police, plan foiled, pop tires. This was in Berkeley. State police pursuing a man down the Kennedy Expressway before they put down stop sticks, the spikes stopping the stolen car from going any further. Police say the car originally came from this block, South Union Avenue in Englewood. A crime so quiet, every neighbor we spoke to off camera today said they had no idea it happened. It was around 6 p.m., police claim. At least four men approached a 23-year-old who was in that Volkswagen Passat and took out a handgun, demanded his cash and whatever else they could take. A 74-year-old man was inside the house and we're told the suspects struck both victims with the back of that handgun before speeding off in that white car. Then this morning, sources say a license plate reader spotted the sedan covered in darkness. State police finally stopped the driver in Berkeley, recovered the stolen items, and took the driver into custody. And charges are still pending on that driver. Again, no word yet on those possible additional three people that police are still looking for. They believe are connected to that home invasion turned carjacking in Englewood. Both of those victims, though, are expected to be okay. We're live outside CPD headquarters. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Thanks, Sabrina.